Hey, how's it going? It's Jim from Corbin Sound here with Ableton quick tip number one, the metronome. First of all, the metronome's on-off button can be found in the top left menu here. Clicking the button once turns the metronome on and the button will turn yellow to indicate that. Now, once your project starts playing, you'll be able to hear it clearly from your speakers or headphones. To adjust the volume of the metronome, simply left click and hold whilst moving your mouse up and down on the blue dial in the bottom right hand corner inside the master channel. To turn off the metronome, you simply click the metronome button once again, turning it grey in the process. And there we go, it's turned off. The metronome can be found here in every version of Ableton Live, so if you don't have Live 10 yet, which is what I'm running on at the moment, then the process is exactly the same. In the drop down menu to the right of the metronome, the first option you are encountered by is counting, which essentially sets a length of unrecorded time before you go to record that prepares you internally with the speed of your track before you start recording any audio or MIDI. And we can have a listen to that if we stop our program here. And if I go and hit record and press play, you can see it had that one bar counting and that can easily be changed to two bars, four bars, or none. In Live 10, however, there are some extra features from the drop-down menu next to the metronome button. You can now change the sound of your metronome to click or wood. I'm just gonna turn the metronome on so we can hear the metronome playing. Once I hit play, change it to click and wood. And I'm going to put it back to classic. You can now change the rhythm of the metronome too, which can help artists stay in time a little bit easier when they're recording without having to adjust the tempo or speed of your track when you listen back. I can demonstrate this now by showing you quarter note, which is essentially what we are on at the moment with auto. Eighth note. And sixteenth note. and back to auto. You can also activate enable only while recording, which when activated whilst the metronome is on will mute the metronome until you choose to record either some audio or MIDI notes. This feature is easier to see in the arrangement view. If I go and record some blank audio here, on my track for recording, hit the record button in the top here and press play. Now if I stop recording, and the track is still playing, you'll notice that the metronome button has turned an orange-red sort of colour. This will now indicate that the feature is only enabled for when we start recording. And if I start recording some more blank audio, and there we have it. If you liked today's video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when our next video drops. Thanks for watching. See you soon.